ancient Hawaiians believed that the goddess of volcanoes, Pele, was born of the marriage of earth and sky. Although there are hundreds of active volcanoes in a narrow belt around the Pacific, the Hawaiian volcanoes are different. What drives them is still not known for sure, but there is a compelling theory. It holds that there are fixed plumes of superheated rock rising slowly through the Earth's mantle. Perhaps starting at a depth of more than a thousand miles, one of them reaches the surface beneath the big island of Hawaii and creates what's called a hotspot. But the immense engine that drives it is not well understood. Its heat may come from the Earth's very core, or the plume may rise from a deep region of radioactivity, an immense perpetual meltdown. Made buoyant by intense heat, this huge upwelling of rock, or magma as it's called, rises a few centimeters a year. Nearing the crust, the rock melts and forces its way to the surface, where it erupts as lava and creates new land. On the island of Hawaii itself, we've got very, four very large volcanoes that have grown within the last one million years from the, uh, from the ocean floor up to uh, heights of about 30,000 feet. Hawaii's Mauna Loa is the world's largest volcano. Its huge dome dwarfs its younger, but extremely active neighbor, Kilauea, to the right. Mauna Loa was born half a million years ago, when lava surged upward. Then, perhaps only 200,000 years ago, Kilauea appeared. All Hawaiian volcanoes were built this way, but except for those on the Big Island, all are now dormant. For a long time, no one knew why. But then it became clear that the story of the birth and death of these volcanoes was part of a much larger picture. It was discovered that the floor of the Pacific Ocean on which the islands rest is moving. It is one of 20 or so slowly drifting pieces of the Earth's crust called tectonic plates. There's a whole chain of volcanoes which get progressively older as one goes along that chain. And this is very difficult uh, to understand, except uh, in the terms of a, an interacting plate and a hotspot. In other words, you have a fixed hotspot, and that the Pacific plate is moving slowly over that hotspot uh, at roughly about nine centimeters or so a year. And so that as this plate moves along, then you're gradually producing volcanoes uh, along the plate uh, as it moves. For 70 million years, the plate has been moving across the hotspot, carrying old islands away, while new ones are created. The old volcanoes die, erode, and eventually submerge, and they now form an unbroken submarine mountain range 4,000 miles long, anchored at its southern end by the Big Island and its active volcanoes. This process is far from over. To the east of the Big Island, a new volcano is rising. Still 3,000 feet down, Pele's newest creation is called Loihi. Only 150 feet below the summit is a reservoir of red-hot lava. When magma is pumped into this chamber, Loihi inflates as much as 12 inches in three days. When the pressure is great enough, the volcano can erupt either at its summit or through a rift zone on its flanks. Loihi won't reach the surface for several thousand years, but when it does, it will be a violent birth. 